Hello there. Uh, today I wanted to talk about how to fix audio on the uh, recorded with a GoPro with the waterproof case on. Um, this happens a lot when you're recording audio and you uh, you have the waterproof case on and you kind of want to get some of the audio that you're capturing and you and it's just really muffled and sounds pretty cruddy. Sounds a lot like this. And then we also have and this one this is a extra special clip. There's lots of banging on the uh, on the case and we have some bumps we're gonna have to get rid of and then there's the recording uh, taken by the rafter is uh his, his voice is louder than the guy who's talking to the group so i want to kind of even that out as well so here's what it sounds like before yeah i feel your center of gravity gets tossed okay yeah So what we're going to try and do is get rid of some of that. Well, get rid of the bumps for sure. Try and even out the the audio of our guy that's wearing the helmet cam, and then our guide who's talking in the background. I kind of want to hear a little bit about what he's saying. So uh, there's a, several different ways to do it. We're not going to make it perfect, but we're going to make it better. Um, this is a way that I found that works. I think works pretty good. So here we go. You're going to need uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. Uh, I'm using Premiere Pro and Audition uh, 2015 CC. Um, I think the other version is, I think as long as you have a, a Adobe Audition, you can do this if it came with your suite. Um, so here's, uh, here's a way to do it. Let's get started. Here's our clip in uh, Premiere Pro. I'm going to uh, right click on this uh, audio clip. Here's our audio track right there. And then we're going to go to Edit Clip in Adobe Audition. So here we are in Audition. And then uh, here's our bumps. You can hear, uh, you can see visually um, that these, uh, on the waveform, you can really see it. And, and you can also see it in a spectral display. But if we select one of them and play, Ah, so let's try and get rid of those first. And an easy way to do that is you can watch your waveform display up here. Here's our waveform right here. And then this is our spectral display. They're kind of the same thing. This is just a little bit different way to view the same kind of deal. But let's go ahead and select it, select that bump, and let's try and get rid of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our bump like here or our audio waveform. We're going to watch up here. We're going to watch this... Uh, the waveform display and we'll actually zoom in you can either hit your plus on your keyboard like that or go down here and um, get your uh, zoom in time right here so now that we have our waveform selected there's a couple of different ways in a previous video I said that you could go up here to effects and and you mess with the amplitude and, and amplify and things like that and lower it. but there's another an easier way actually to do it when you select that you will have this little pop-up and on this pop-up is basically a volume adjustment. So let's go ahead and as we drag this down, you can see the waveform on the top in the white, black and white, is getting smaller. So what we're going to try and do is get it to where it's like, eh, it's okay. It's still there a little bit, but it's not quite, um, not quite there. So now let's listen to this, what we have here. So we still have a little bit of a click there. Um, but we don't have as much, which, see there's our click. We did lose a lot of our background volume, but that's okay. I don't, I'm not too concerned about that. Let's work on this click a little bit more. Let's get rid of a little bit more of this. So we're going to do exactly the same thing, just drop it down. And you can go down incrementally if you don't want to go down in big steps. Um, just go down a little, you know, a couple dB down and then play it through and just keep getting it keep going down until you found you know an, an area that works for you um, let's see. It's still there that's not so bad let's go down a little bit more so we still have it we can zoom in later and kind of tweak it a little bit more but for now we'll just leave that one so and there's another one right here let's go ahead and get ah that sounds terrible so if you've ever worn a GoPro on your head, you'll know exactly what that sounds like because that always sounds the same. So I'm doing the same thing here. We're going to go down a little bit more and a little bit more. 
So we, we got rid of them mostly, you know, they're still, like I said, you can go in here and tweak these down if you want um, to just get them better. We are having dropouts because we, you know, obviously we eliminated a lot of that other noise that was in there and we took those down. Okay, that's one way to do it. That's a really easy way, to, or not an easy way to do it, but that's one way to do it. And it's a good way to, to, to practice. The easy way to do it is we're gonna go in our history and we're gonna go back up to our open. So we're, we just went backwards in time. So the easy way to do it is select your bump. And you wanna hear it again. Ah. And then we're gonna go to effects up at the top. And we're gonna go auto heal. And this does a really amazing job. So let's see what it did. Ah, yay, got rid of it. So we're going to do the same thing to this one. And you can do Command U if you're on a Mac, if you're on a PC, I think it's Control. So Command U will auto heal. So let's get rid of those two. Listen to those again. Not bad. So we still have this really, really low kind of bump hum here. The auto heal doesn't work on large selections, it only works on really small selections. So let's try and do this. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's see if we can do auto tail because command U. And eh, it didn't do much. I mean, it did a little bit. Let's see what it sounds like. No. Still got kind of a buzz in there. Let's try and do this one with our little volume trick. No. Eh, that seems a little bit better. Not as smooth, but that's all right. We don't really care too much about them. We just want to get, no. get rid of them mostly. Okay, so we got rid of our two bumps. Um, let's see here, let's zoom back out. So this is our rafter talking right here, right? That's him talking. Yeah, through your center, center of gravity gets tossed, okay. Yeah. And then about here, our, our guide starts to talk. Oh. Oh, he says so, so he says so about right here, so. Um, great, okay. So there's a whole bunch of dead space in between what they're talking about. So let's do, let's first, let's get rid of this deep hum, which I can't stand. And it just drives me bananas. So we're just going to go in and select here. I'm going to zoom in so we can see. We're just selecting that very, very low frequency. And you can adjust these down if you want um, by clicking just on that top part of the, of the uh, dotted, dotted line. So let's go ahead and just reduce this volume a little bit. So let's take it down. Maybe six, six, something like that. Let's see if that did anything. Yeah, through your center, center of gravity. Oh, yeah, I hate this bump. We're going to get rid of that. It's driving me nuts. A little bit better. Still, We still have a little bit of the, the super low, huh? Or the super low frequencies in there. I'm wearing uh, headphones right now, so I can really hear it. And I, that's one of my pet peeves in this audio is I just can't stand that really, really low audio. Um, so I'm going to try and get rid of this some more. Let's crank that down. Speed her up. California lounge chair position. You're looking down river. Much better, I think. Um, just, just getting rid of that boom, 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 that really low frequency. Still there a little bit there. See the yellow in there. Let's reduce that down just a tiny bit. Yeah, so your center of gravity gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. I'm very happy with that. I would, I could live with that actually. Now let's let's kind of uh, adjust our audio of our guide to match closer. No. Remember. So he says so right there. So let's just adjust this up. So we can do the same kind of deal. We'll just crank up our our dbs it will increase our noise floor significantly you'll see you'll hear. No. Remember, you go over. we're going to get rid of some of that hum so i mean that hiss rather so let's go back and select what we just did i didn't have to deselect it i could have actually we're going to we're going to need to capture some noise so what we're going to do is take our our uh, marquee we're going to capture that noise there actually we'll go all the way out so that's the noise we're going to capture i'm going to right click on my mouse Alternatively, you could go up to effects and go down to noise uh, re reduction, restoration, and capture noise print. So we'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and right click here, capture noise print. So we've captured this, that noise sound. Now we're going to go back up to our effects. 
noise reduction restoration. Now we're going to do noise reduction process. So what we've done is we've kept, it needs, in order to run this filter, I guess, uh, plug-in, it has to have some sort of a noise print. So what we're going to, what we've already done is we've selected our noise print. So we're going to play back. You go over, speed her up. What we can do is just listen to our noise that we want to get rid of. So that's really, really high pitch noise, lower noise. Let's go up. Basically, I'm just playing with this uh, this basic curve here. So let's see. We can reduce. California lounge chair position, you're looking down river. Okay. So this will bring back some of our noise. We're not reducing it as much. Yeah, through your center of gravity gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. So, remember, you go over, speed her up, California lounge chair position, you're looking down river. Okay? So by clicking apply. California lounge chair position, you're looking down river. We got okay. rid of a lot of our noise. We do have this funky kind of flanger sound to it. Yeah, through your center of gravity gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. So what we can do is undo that. So this is, like I said, there's about a hundred different ways to do this, but this is one way to do it. So I'm just going to select our guide talking because that's the noise print that we actually captured. And I'll go back and fix his talking in a minute. So we're going to do that one more time. You go over. Speed her up. California lounge chair position. You're looking down river. Okay? Okay, so we're going to apply that. After playing with you got to play with it a little bit to get it to where you, exactly you no. want it. Remember, you go over. So listen to this. No. It gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. No. Remember, you go over. So we evened it out a little bit. It's not perfect, but you know, it's better than it was, which is yeah, all we're trying to do is make gravity, this better. Up. We're not trying to fix it. Yeah. It's not going to be professional. Hey, we got, you know, boom mics and it's going to sound great. We're just trying to get it better. Yeah, so your center, center of gravity gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. So, remember, you go over, speed her up, California mountain. So, we got pretty close. It's not, it's not great. It's not, you know, perfect, but it's much better than it was. So I'm happy with that. We're gonna go ahead and click out of Adobe Audition. Um, we could go through here and do a, and do an Amplify, but I'm gonna do that in Adobe in uh, Premiere Pro. So we're gonna close out here. It's gonna ask us if we wanna save it. Yes, we do. I'm gonna back in uh, Adobe Premiere. Uh, and then here's our extracted audio. We can see that it, that's our new file because it, it added audio extracted to the file name. Yeah, through your center of gravity gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. So, remember. So we see by our, our levels indicator over here, we're really low on audio. So we need to amplify this up. So I'm going to right click again, go to audio gain, and we're going to do normalize max peak to zero dB and click OK. So it really brought up our audio signal, however it'll sound. You go over. Yeah, through your cent center of gravity gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. So, remember, you go over, speed her up. We still have a lot of that noise. I'm going to go back one more time. Get rid of some of this down here. I can't stand it. It's driving me nuts. So, let's go down in volume. Gravity gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. So, remember, you go over, speed her up, California Lounge. Let's go into our effects. We're going to go to filter and EQ. We're going to do a parametric EQ. I'm going to take some of this high stuff down. Share position, you're looking down river. Okay? We'll get your boat, bring it to a little bit higher center. And yeah, through your center. center of gravity gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. So, remember, 
Do go over. Speed her up. California lounge chair position. You're looking down river. Okay? We'll get your boat and bring it to you a little bit. And yeah, so your center, center of gravity gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. So, remember. Okay, now we're going to go back one more time. Yes. All right, here we go. This should sound a little bit better. A little bit higher center. And yeah, so your center, center of gravity gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. So, remember. You go over, speed her up. California lounge chair position, you're looking down river. So that's not so bad. We fixed a little bit of a uh, mess that we had. Um, to do one kind of extra thing with this video, what I would do is uh, add a little bit of water noise in the background. And I have in here one of these files. Let's see if I can find it. Um, some water that we recorded from another. And we'll just drag our audio file down here. So we have more noise in here. Let's see what this sounds like. I'm going to drag this way down in volume. A little bit higher center. Yeah, so your center. Cent center of gravity gets tossed. Okay. That's more more noise from GoPro. Let's do, let's, I wanted to do another video about this, but let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to grab the C key for cut. We're going to cut this audio part right here and right here, and we're going to delete. We're going to do option delete. That'll ripple delete that out, right? That's a pretty close match for a volume there. So what you could do if you really want to smooth this out is go to your effects and go to audio transitions and do a constant power. Drop it right in the middle. It would be imperceivable as far as your audio is concerned. Okay, so we soloed that. Yeah. Let's give it a little bit. Okay. We'll get your boat, bring it to Okay. So, okay, so we have our audio here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, so your cent center of gravity gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. So, remember, you go over, speed her up, California lounge chair position, you're looking down river. Okay? We'll get your boat and bring it to So, there we go. Center. Yeah, so your cent center of gravity gets tossed. Okay. Yeah. So, remember, you go over, Speed her up. California lounge chair position. You're looking down river. Okay? We'll get your boat and bring it to so there we go. That's one way to fix um, cruddy audio with the waterproof case on in, um, in GoPro footage. It doesn't work all the time. It, you know, it's just like anything. You got to live with what you capture, you know. So if you captured something that was really, really awful, the, the best you can do is make it better. You know, you, you're not going to make it perfect, but it's better than it was. And um I'm pretty happy with that. So I hope you thought this was an interesting quick tip. Well, it's not really a quick tip. It kind of ran long, but um, it's a it's a good way to fix some of that that audio that we all have trouble with when you're shooting with a GoPro, especially when you're you've got the waterproof case on it. I hope that worked. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you liked it, please subscribe. I'll try and do more of these types of videos and uh, in the future. And I appreciate it. Thanks very much.